Hello everybody, welcome back to the Wonderful World of Luna, episode 52 or 53, I honestly don't remember which. Um, two, two big things. I made some tweaks to the uh, entrance of the castle here. I put the travel net in the corner there because it kind of made this a little neater up top. This dirt is just temporary and I have finished the walls going around so the pathways are two nodes wide up top and then we have uh, the slabs placed on their side and the inside corners are full nodes and then underneath the slabs we have the little quarter blocks and I did that all the way around had to use the screwdriver a whole bunch and then um oh I should have looked who it was I believe it was Cosetta hopefully I'm pronouncing that name correctly again um, but they mentioned in the YouTube comments, um, this handy little tool called the node replacement tool. And, uh, mm, I was going to show you how to craft it, but I don't have all the materials. Uh, it's super cheap. One chest here, a stick in the center and a chest here. And that yields a node replacement tool, which to my knowledge, as far as I can tell here, takes zero damage, which is pretty sweet. So you can use it forever. So this has a few features and I was kind of befuddled for a little bit. So I'm going to show you how to use this. This is an invaluable tool if you are a builder. If you're a builder, you probably also already know about it, but whatever. I'm sure there's somebody who doesn't. I didn't. So you place your, your object that needs to have some kind of special rotation applied. And I'm just going to use the quarter blocks here like I was using on the wall. And then I'll use the screwdriver to set the rotation I want, which is this and then we use the node replacement tool hold down shift or probably actually just the sneak key so whatever your sneak key is and right click on the node and you'll get a little chat message that'll show uh, node replacement tool set castle panel pavement brick and there'll be two numbers behind it which somehow mean it's rotation so now you have to make sure you have whatever item you want to be placing in your inventory because, uh, yeah, if you don't have it, you can't place it. And then you can use this in one of two ways. If you left click, you will actually replace whatever node you clicked on. And so if you notice down on my hotbar, I have 92 dirt and 93 of these brick pieces. I lose one brick piece and I gain one piece of dirt. So there's that way to use it, which actually replaces it. But maybe you don't want to replace it whatever you're clicking, maybe you want to put it on the face of this. So maybe I want these slabs to actually be on the top half of this node. Well, then you right click and then it doesn't replace, but it places the node in that airspace. So uh, there you go. And like I said, it takes no damage. So it is definitely a good tool to have in your toolbox if you're doing a lot of building or if you're doing building where you have um, anything that needs a lot of rotation. The roofs, fortunately, on this one all worked out, so I didn't. But if I was building something that would have needed it, dude, I'm telling you, it, it would have saved me a lot of time. Another interesting little tidbit here, um, and I might use this extensively. You know what? I'm just going to do wood for right now. So... Say you want to make a floor, you just take that, boom. I don't have to dig all this dirt out before I'm putting my floor down. So I can eliminate the whole process of digging out a whole layer of dirt to put the floor in by just using the node replacer. People, I'm telling you, if you have not used this tool, why am I using a shovel? If you have not used this tool, I, I don't know what to tell you go out and use this tool right now um because it's dark and dark is dangerous because of the the many mysterious monsters that hang out out here i think what i'm gonna do is pause the video here and come back when it is light out and it's morning time so let's get busy uh while I, uh, you know, was, was doing nothing, I uh, put windows in here. 
and I used the node replace tool to do this entire floor. This saved me a ton of time. So my thinking is, I was gonna make this maybe like an inn or something, but I think I've changed my mind, and I want to make it. Um, oh, I should have grabbed more wood. I'm gonna need more wood. Uh, it's gonna be more of like a like a tavern restaurant kind of thing. So my thinking is, we're gonna throw two furnaces here for, well, cooking food, obviously. Um, and in the middle, whoops, we're gonna put a chest for, well, you know, storing things like oil extracts to cook with and foods. And then uh, we're gonna put like a little counter slash table thing here. So like you can come up and make your orders if there's not a, um, a waitress, I guess going around to collect orders. So this is how you make a nice little kitchen cabinet. And I'm fairly certain, yeah, those have inventories as well. So it'll make a nice little separation there. I wanted to do the one with the uh, marble top, but uh, the recipe calls for an unknown item. So yeah, I can't actually do that, unfortunately. Um, here's a little pro tip. You can turn sticks back into blanks, which is great when you have like a kajillion sticks that you have gathered from leaves, uh, but you really need some planks. And you don't want to walk all the way back. Not that I would have to walk, but you don't want to travel all the way back to get some wood from the warehouse, you can just turn your excess sticks back into wood. Now it should be noted that they only make uh, the default wood and none of the other wood styles, but um, I'm fairly certain that any of your woods you turn into sticks turn into just sticks. I think jungle wood might do a jungle wood stick, but otherwise I think they're all just sticks. All right, so we've got this little thing uh, you know what? You know what? Let's let's make it go all the way to the one wall. And actually, I've got uh, an even better idea. Let's take that one out, put it there. There we go. So now we have, you know, this cook can be on this side. He's got his storage and his cabinets there. He's got his. Uh, furnace here to cook food or his stove I guess um, and then yeah we've got a chest for fuels all right um as far as seating goes I'm not sure I'll have to maybe look at some of the options available to us oh I didn't want to actually eat those but that's fine see maybe what some of the home decor items are and uh, see about making some tables and chairs from that. Because I know I have some nice chairs, but I'm not sure about tables. Like, is there anything that's going to be correct for the era? Let's, let's take a look. Um, I think we would just look for chair. Perfect, perfect. Um, a kitchen chair or a chair? I don't... What's the difference? That uses a bunch of sticks. And that uses wood. Well, I am a cheap king. So we're gonna make the chair that just uses sticks. Ooh. Let's see what this looks like when we place it. Um, where did I put it? Oh, that's why. Let's see what it looks like. I mean, oh, it's even sitable in. It's a good enough chair for the for the people that are hanging out at the tavern. You know, if they really wanted a comfortable chair, they could they could buy a house and then put any kind of furniture they wanted in it. This is going to need a lot of chairs, like a lot. In fact, I should probably stop making chairs and look for a table cuz I don't know what that's going to require as far as materials. 
Um, I kind of like this. Oh, and that's very cheap. A stick and a plank? Yeah, you're telling me. See, this is this is a little nicer. A little more expensive. And I feel like this is more suitable for in a, a tavern. But what's this one? Wait. So... Hmm... Well, I think I'm going to go with this one because it's just a slab and a stick. And, uh, again, I'm, I'm a poor king. Not only am I a cheap king, but I'm a poor king. Let's just make one for starters. Make sure that fits with the chair. Um, that might be a trick. How am I going to... There we go. looks good to me let's let's go do this oh hello there mighty majestic moose is that a moose I don't know whatever it is it's uh, mighty and majestic evidently okay let's let's try this out so if we put a table there we can put a chair here and chair there. Um, we could put a chair, possibly. There is, uh, that didn't really pay. Oh, I can do this. Kids never stand on tables. Your mom will not be happy. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's a way easier way. Just put all the chairs in before I make the table. Yo, yo, why didn't I think of this before? So if I just. Put a chair there, put a chair there. I will finish this off off camera because uh, this is gonna be really tedious and monotonous. But um I think I think you get the idea here. Alright, so we've got tables, maybe leave a space, and then a chair, a table, a chair, leave a space. Well that actually I'll have to mess around with it until I find something I like. I could do longer tables, maybe, or something. I don't know. You never know how many people you might have that want to, uh, you know, share stories around a, a mug of milk. This is a this is a non-alcoholic tavern, everybody. Non-alcoholic. There are milk drinks available, and berries, of course, delicious, delicious berries. In fact, we're going to put some berries in this cabinet right now. See? We have berries. Yummy, yummy berries. Uh, we should probably get a roof on this thing, huh? Um, I've wanted to do a thatch roof for a while, but I don't think I'm going to have the materials needed for that. Uh, thatch? Is that how you spell that? That is definitely not how you spell thatch. That's like thatch. Maybe it's a th. Thatch? That looks more like it. Ooh, I was right. Reet for thatching. Ooh. Oof. Papyrus. Reet for thatching stair. Can I cut to this reet material in the circular saw? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, I need some papyrus. Um, it's getting late. I should not be out traveling. But my, my desire for conquest is all-consuming. Why do I feel like I'm floating above ground? I'm not. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to jump. I think I had some papyrus growing over here. Of course, it's very dark. <laughs> But I think, no, no, I don't. Foiled again. Um, well, because I'm already in the water anyways. I guess I'll just swim on over to here. <laughs> and run along the shoreline. Because I know I needed papyrus for something else. Oh, what was it? 
Maybe it was just to make paper. I don't even remember. All I know is I dedicated a whole episode to finding papyrus. A whole stinking episode. And I'm sure I found some. I just hope I saved some. So I can plant it. This is not looking too promising. Um, maybe in here? Mm, nope, I got some slime. I have no idea how I got that. Uh, 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 this is not promising. I really don't have a pyrus. How is that possible? How is that even possible? Oh, wait, above, how did I miss this? 75. Okay, well, um, you know, let's leave 10 there. I'm going to go plant this. Not all 65 pieces, but a, a bunch of it. I don't even know where it grows best, honestly. Like, does it have to be by water? I don't know. But because I don't know, I'm going to put it by water, I guess. Uh, I didn't really want to do that. I'm surprised that that worked. No, I don't know. Why would I want... You're being silly. Being very silly, my test engine. Well, I mean, I guess that works. If it'll grow there, I'm not going to complain. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw some here. And because honestly, I just, I don't know how this works. Does it have to be by water? I don't know. So let's throw some there. Okay, I got 50 left. That means I planted 15. Let's, let's take a look, see here. I think it was just four of them, right? Four of those make some reet for thatching. All right, man, let's try this out. I knew it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Dirt monster. Red alert, everybody. Where? Where's my? Where's my royal guard? There we go. Tell you, man. People these days can't even hire a, a decent royal guard. They're probably off sitting in that brand new tavern I just built. Okay, so that thatch might um might work, but how do I? Is that gonna look good though? These have nice sloped roofs, and then this is going to have a, a stared a stared roof. Would that even work? Um, it should, because there's an odd number. So if I do a stair, full block and a stair, two full blocks and a stair. Um, so it'd be stair, stair, stair. And then just a full block for the center? Or maybe I leave that stair, 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 full block, stair, 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 and we'll kind of have a flat peak. That might work. But man, I'm going to need a lot of papyrus. Well, uh, I don't know why I clicked on that. I guess, uh, it's a lot of papyrus. What was that? I think, uh, we might just be making... Sugar. Oh, it's an unknown item. Or not an unknown item, but uh, there's no texture for it. That's what it is. Okay. Well, I'm going to wrap this up. And then I guess uh, next time around, hopefully this papyrus will have grown. And... But that sugar. Interesting. I can make two styles of sugar. Uh, hopefully the papyrus will have grown and we can finish up the roof on the tavern. But for the dummying, we shall just go inside and enjoy the light and uh, hope that the wild critters can't get to us, which they probably can. Feast your eyes because you cannot feast your stomach because we are not yet open and we are not serving food. I know that was a horrible joke. I will catch you guys next time.